you go two for two. Um, how did that one feel? You going to the full 15? Oh, that was great. You know, um, she's so tough. Um, that was awesome. I got to display, you know, a lot of things that I haven't been able to, and just the growth of this whole last camp, a full length camp. So um, that was awesome. I threw kicks and everything in that fight. So, yeah, that was exciting. I'm sure, quick finishes are cool and all, but do you think there's a lot of value in there going and being able to get those minutes in the cage? Oh yeah. You know, every time I go in there, I feel a little bit more comfortable. This time, you know, I was able to take in the experience and. Uh, I definitely felt more comfortable. So the 15 minutes is there. You know, I know I have my, my cardio is there, and I don't know how when that ended, how much was left of that third round. But no, it felt good. It felt good to go back to my corner, okay, you know, recollect and start a new round, fresh round. And so yeah, it was a great experience. I, I love that. Were you surprised? I know the fight was stopped towards the end, but were you surprised that, that she was able to absorb all those punches? I mean, your striking accuracy, but the numbers they showed was, was so yeah. high. Oh my goodness, she is so tough. That girl, I mean, I give her all the props for being here with me. I, I, I threw some good elbows in there that I just, I thought would have stopped her, but she kept coming. She is so tough. So, you know, I can't just thank her enough for being here. It wouldn't have been a fight without her. So, yeah, super tough. And towards the end there, did you feel like the referee was getting close to stopping it? Did you have to go for the kill? I felt it. You know, um, I thought that, I thought that the head kick landed. Um, and I, I saw the ref watching carefully, you know, I, I try to finish it when I feel that pressure of the ref coming on, but, um, you know, she's tough. I thought she was going to last the whole time. So, um, I give her props for sure. All right, we'll take a few more from the media to join us for today tonight. Go ahead, Santiago. Hi, Sumiko. Congratulations on a beautiful performance. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bellator has visited Hawaii in 2018 and 2019, but you weren't on the roster yet, Miko. How special would it be for you to fight on a Bellator Hawaii card in the future? Oh, so amazing. I, I attended both of those events. I, you know, Hawaii supports every, all, all fighters. So I was there supporting both of those events and it was amazing. Uh, fighting in front of my home crowd would be an honor. So I hope everybody, uh, Bellator, they love Hawaii. They're so amazing. Um, it would be awesome to have them come back for sure. Enjoy the victory, Sumiko. Thank you so much. Kion. Hey, Sumiko. My name is Kion Hangamara. I'm from the Island. Hi. Congratulations on a brilliant performance. Thank you so much. Not at all. Um, my question for you is actually in relation to your fellow Islander, Alina A. McFarland. Of course, she's an incredibly impressive fighter in her own right, and she's number one ranked in your division. Is she someone you look up to? And have you ever had the chance to talk to her and receive any advice from her in relation to fighting? Oh yeah, I look up to her for sure. You know, for she held the belt for so long, and to see a fellow, you know, Hawaii fighter do so well in this sport, especially a female fighter. Um, oh man, I only feel pride. You know, so uh, I, I can only just try and keep striving to, you know, follow in her footsteps. So. Um, I've only ever really been able to talk to her through social media, and um, I met her when I did go to the Hawaii event, but, you know, I would love to train, and, and you know, Hawaii doesn't have much uh, female fighters for me to train back home, so I would love to go up to a camp that has, you know, a bunch of really good females and, and feel that energy and, and do a, a, you know, a camp with them, so, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we'll take a couple more, Dylan. Hey there, appreciate you making some time. Hi. I was just noticing the Instagram post you had yesterday with the Lady Samurai 2.0. <laughs> wonder thought you were comprehensively able to show off that you know, next permutation of Samiko in the cage tonight. Yeah, you know, I, I, I felt it. You know, I came into this uh, fight feeling very prepared. I, I, I knew she wanted to wrestle, and I prepared for it. Uh, I hope I, I have to watch the fight back. I, I know I was, uh, she tried to take me down a lot and I, I just tried to work back up to my feet so I was able to, you know, display my striking, but, sorry, I got lost on a tangent there, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Ronald, this is Ronald E. Smith in, in Rio for Miko. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Especially in the last round, you know, those kind of rounds can be so draining when you try to get finished. So mentally, how are you able to keep focused and to put on without tiring your body on that final go? Yeah, you know, I pushed very hard this uh, camp. 
uh, I knew my cardio was there. I, I go rounds and rounds in the gym and I knew she was gonna try and go, you know, for the takedown and, and I did get, you know, a little more tired than I thought I was, but getting back to my feet, uh, listening to my corner, I could hear them a lot better this time and, uh, you know, just believing in my striking and, and uh, taking deep breaths. I did, uh, I did learn that this, this fight is to breathe, you know, don't just panic. Everything doesn't have to be a constant, you know, fight, take a deep breath and, and I think that's where I was able to continuously put the pressure because I, because I had that, uh, I knew I had that pace. All right, our last question comes from the line of the Empire Universe podcast. Hello, Simiko. Hi. This is Luke from Empire Universe. Hi, how are you? Uh, congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank you so much. So, I mean, you got two finishes, two finishes in Bellator. I mean, what, what's next for you? What's, what's next in 2021? Oh, yeah. I would love to come back here. I don't know how long Bellator is going to be in the Mohican Sun, but this place is amazing. I, every time I come here, I'm amazed. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, I would love to be back here. I hope they are here for my next fight, but you know, go back home, work on a few things that I know I still need to work on uh, and come back and put on another show for Bellator. Great. Thank you so much. All right, Samika, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you.